All right, so we're going to be looking at fractional indices. Now, a fractional indice is an indice that is a fraction. Pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at one. So here's a fractional indice, a to the power of m over n. Now, that's going to be equal to a to the power of m. So you can see we've taken the numerator, the top number, and put it here, a to the power of m, the root of n or the nth root. So if I write this in words, which I think is probably pretty important, it's going to look like this. The nth root of a to the power of m. The nth root. Now you guys probably have dealt with square roots before. That's a number multiplied by itself to give whatever's in here. You can have cube roots as well, which is a number multiplied by itself three times, or the fourth root, or the fifth root, or the seventh root, or the ninth root. The ninth root would be a number multiplied by itself nine times to give this value. Okay, so that's fractional indices and how you set them up. Uh, let's take a look at a couple so you can see how they work. So here we have nine to the power of a half. Now that's going to be a, the base, nine, to the power of whatever was on the top, whatever's on the top, 1, 9 to the power of 1, the second root, which is just the square root. So really this just says the square root of 9. When it's a square root, we don't need to put a 2 there, and when it's to the power of 1, we don't have to do that. Now you guys all know that the square root of 9 is 3. Um, now that's not technically true, and you can ask me why if you want to, but we're going to stick with that for now. The square root of 9 is 3. A second example here, 16 to the power of 3 on 2. That's going to be a base, 16, to the power of whatever's on the top, to the power of whatever's on the top, 3, square root. And you remember we don't have to put the 2 there because it's a square root. Okay, so I'm going to put 16 cubed into my calculator and I'm going to get 4096. The square root of 4096. Now I'm going to put that into my calculator, see what pops out. And it's 64. The square root of 4096 is 64. There's some uh, fractional indices, just a couple more. Here I'm going to combine a couple of index laws. m to the 1 fifth times m to the 2 fifths. I can use my index law that says that if I multiply two bases together, I'm going to get m to the 1 fifth plus m to the 2 fifths. That's going to be m to the 3 fifths. And then, using my fractional indice law, I can look at that and say that's going to be m to the 3 to the power of 5. Can't do much more than that because it's algebra, so I'm not going to get a number like I did with these two first two. So the last one I'm going to do is a to the 2, b to the 3, all to the power of 1 sixth. Now you'll remember that we've got an index law that deals with this bracket situation. a to the 2 to the power of 1 on 6 is a to the 2 times 1 on 6. And b to the 3 times 1 on, uh, to the power of 1 on 6 is b to the 3 times 1 on 6. So that's going to be a to the 2 on 6, b to the 3 on 6. Sorry, I'm getting in the way there. a to the 2 on 6, b to the 3 on 6. Now that's going to be, uh, we can simplify that fraction and we can simplify that fraction. So a to the 2 on 6 is really a to the 1 on 3 and b to the 3 on 6 is actually b to the 1 on 2. You can simplify fractions at the top here. And then finally, using our fractional indice law, a to the 1 on 3 is going to be a to the uh, cube root 3, because the 1 is just a to the power of 1, and b to the half is just going to be uh, the square root of b. So it's the cube root of a times the square root of b. Okay, there's fractional indices, four examples of how it all works. Uh, let's get started.